All right, let's go ahead and get started tonight. Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for uh, class number five of this mentors course. Father, we thank you for the power and your presence that has been throughout the school division and the mentors course. Lord, we ask for wisdom direction for this class tonight uh, that we uh, would have ears to hear each of us and receive what you have for us tonight. Father, we thank you for that. We thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Father, our our fellowship, we desire to uh, to move and uh, grow stronger in, in the Holy Spirit and his ministry. Father, we pray for uh, our international presence, President Francis Owusu, as he meets in California. I don't know when the meeting uh, is, but uh, Father, that... Uh, uh, great things will come of that gathering of those men gathering together in California to give Brother Francis words to share, hearts to be open. Thank you for reconciliation, Father. We thank you for bringing groups together again. Lord, again, we thank you for tonight and the opportunity that we can gather together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, as I pray, this is class number five, our last class. Uh, for those of you that uh, are graduating, uh, attending the classes, uh, I'll be sending out uh, certificates uh, of completion of the course. Um, we also, John and I both, too, would like to work closely with you as you uh, desire to teach uh, the school division to your chapter members. Uh, we're available to help you in that process. Uh, John and I have been uh, discussing it. And Mike Pulse, I don't know if you saw it, but I sent you an email just a little bit ago. John and I had been in conversation about the next school. Uh, we plan to start in uh, January uh, next month. We're looking at uh, starting on the 18th and 19th. But take a look at that, Mike, and uh, see what you think about that. Uh, one thing we are planning to do is... I I sensed there was a need, well, I did obviously to have the school in English and also to have it in Spanish for all of our uh, Spanish speaking members. And my original thought, we would do the class, uh, the individual classes with translation within the class. So if it was someone was speaking English, it would be translated into Spanish. But you know, as, as John and I thought about that, John pointed it out, you know, if we did that, as you know, uh, either you have half the time if you go for, let's say, an hour, or if you want to do a full hour of teaching, you end up going two hours. That, we felt that would be too long for any of our class. We want to stick around an hour. So what we plan to do, we will plan to do English classes on Thursday, Spanish on Friday. Um, initially, John Correct will take the lead on both classes. I've got a number of things that are quite busy in January and February. Uh, not that I won't be in the classes, the English speaking classes, but uh, John will take the lead in those areas too. So we're working on that. We'll schedule that. Mike, take a look at it. If it's something that you know you would approve, let me know. You like the idea? Okay. All right. And uh, so. Uh, you'll see that in the email as well, too. So that's coming up. Spread the word. We'll we'll get uh, messages out via WhatsApp, via email. We'll put it on the website and other other ways of announcing it, social media, the upcoming school. Because one of our goals for 2024 is to teach the school division to every one of our members in the United States. Now, that's a lofty goal. Uh, I believe we can do that. It will require the help of, of of you, you that are in the that have been in the school and gone through the school to help advertise it, encourage people to attend. Because the bottom line is really um, allowing the Holy Spirit to move throughout our fellowship, not just portions of it, parts of it, but throughout the whole fellowship, for all of our chapters, through all of our members. And I think for a lot of people, what maybe what you've learned in the school division is um, new, maybe new to you. Uh, for me personally, 
When I got born again, I moved right into the charismatic, Pentecostal, word of faith, uh, signs, wonders, miracles. That's what I, I came to know and understand right from the very beginning. I didn't have a tradition that I needed to jettison. Uh, but that's that's really our goal, is to see our all of our members walking in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Uh, recognizing Christ is in them and he wants to work through them. John chapter 14 talks about, Jesus talked about <clears throat> doing the very things that he did and even greater things than these, Jesus himself said. That's where we're at. And that's what we're planning to do as well, too. I think I'd like to hear from, and I've gotten some comments uh, throughout the school in the mentors course from, from uh, some of you. But I'd like to hear uh, if there are I'd like to be able to, when I uh, we introduce a new school uh, and its promotion, if you will, a testimony, it's a short testimony. Here's what the school meant to me. Here's what the school did for me. And we'd like to be able to share those with other people. Uh, so keep that in mind. If there's things that you could, you'd uh, could share with me, you could send it on WhatsApp, email, phone call, text message. Uh, let me know. So we'd like to hear from you how the school has impacted you. And we've heard some of those things as we've gone along. I know last week uh, we had some testimonies of, of uh, how the school has helped them uh, and impacted them. But I think that's real important that we, we like to have those. Um, uh, John Cred had sent me this the other day, and this was a, a prophetic word for uh, gospel businessmen and the, uh, the School of the Vision, and this came from uh, John's former pastor, now friend, of course, Prophet Rick Gillis. John's mentioned him before. I don't think we've had, I don't think we've had Rick in any of our classes. I believe, John, when I saw Rick in a class, I, it might've been one of the Australian classes. Right. Something Maybe to keep, yeah, something, speaker. yeah, something to keep in mind. Maybe for this next class, have, Prophet Rick join us in one of the classes, but um, I'd like to read this prophetic word. And this is uh, dated, well, FGBMFI 2023. Have I not spoken it? Have I not brought it to pass? What I hid in the heart of Demas and what I accomplished through the vision, the testimony to you that faith and obedience works. For a short time, I rejected you, but my love and compassion for you has overwhelmed me. I stand prepared, ready to move on your behalf. Am I not he who cares? I created the vision. I created the heart of man. I created nations to be harvested. I created faith and you. Obedience to what I have spoken will move you into position. This is as the days of Noah to you, a promise that will not cease, a promise that will bring hope to you. Respond to it in faith and obedience. Sleep no more. Rise up as I have arisen on your behalf. <clears throat> Lead as the Holy Spirit leads you. Time to enlarge. Let the vision carry you and do not shrink back. Let not your circumstances stop you from open doors. Stretch your hearts to hold miracles, signs, and wonders. For a moment, I was angry, but my kindness and mercy has awoken. I am your Redeemer who calls you by name. I have written your name on my hand. You who have been storm-tossed and afflicted, look back, but move forward. You are complete in me. And I am above all things. I sowed the vision into the heart of a man <clears throat> who was humble and kind and stood tall before me. He possessed deep faith. He asked for the nations, his heart large. The seed I sent sprouted in his heart in order to give, uh, give forth its fruit. It did not return to me void, but accomplished that which I sent it forth to do. Now, is your time. Seek me as never before. Find the secret place of visions and dreams. Find me and become a warrior of my love. That I might seed into your hearts the same vision that reigned over the nations. 
and brought revival to the poor and the rich, to the laborer and the mighty leader, to the religious and the sinner, to all who believed in my son and the indwelling of my Holy Spirit. That was from Prophet Rick Gillis. I'll share that in an email with a recording of this class and I'll also send that out in, in WhatsApp uh, in print form so you'll have the PDF <clears throat> file of that. Um, and just one other final thing, and then uh, John's going to share share with us tonight. But this is found in, excuse me, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4, 5, and 6. And this is the King James Version. I don't know if I have another version here. Let's see. Um, in fact, let me read the... Uh, I'll read the King James first, and I have the passion here. Uh, but listen, it says, and this is verse four, five, and six. And such trust have we through Christ to Godward. Not that we are efficient, sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves. Listen to this. But our sufficiency is of God, who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament. Out of the letter of the Spirit, for the letter killeth, the spirit gives life. Notice our sufficiency comes from God. He said it's not of ourselves. It is God that has made us able ministers of the New Testament is what the Apostle Paul said here. Now the passion says everyone who here, I'm sorry, we carry this confidence in our hearts because of our union with Christ before God. I, as I was reading this passion, I was thinking of the divine life and what Ema Shakarian had shared, what God had revealed to him in the divine life. We carry this confidence in our hearts because of our union with Christ before God. Yet we don't see ourselves as capable enough to do anything in our own strength. For our true uh, competence flows from God's empowering presence. He alone makes us adequate ministers. Who are focused on an entirely new covenant. Ministry is not based on the letter of law, but through the power of the Spirit. The letter of the law kills, but the Spirit pours out life. I was reading that. I was thinking of the divine life. And what, what Demas pointed out, what God pointed out to Demas, and what Demas uh, shared with us. So, well, John, I'd like to turn this over to you and Share whatever God is in your has put on your heart for tonight. I was just thinking that I don't know, if John, if you ask me what what you should share or anything, but I saw this this evening with you sharing is kind of putting the the cherry on top of the Sunday. It's kind of like finishing off. I mean, we had twelve weeks of the school division, and now five weeks. This being the fifth week of the mentors course, that's a lot. That's a long time. That's a lot of classes. But uh, to share from your heart what, what you'd like to say to us tonight and to those that would watch the video that are not with us tonight. Well, <clears throat> thank you, Ron. As I was praying this afternoon, uh, it came to me that each one of you are teachers. mentors and <clears throat> each one of you will have the opportunity to release disciples into this season and <clears throat> I just got back from Argentina in a trip around South America and Central America. And I could tell people were wondering what the world's coming to. And uh, I remembered how Demas looked at things he would get excited when he would see the world having problems because he truly believed 
that it was a sign that uh -huh. Jesus was returning soon. And so the worse things get, I've learned the more I rejoice. Because the presence of the Lord gets stronger and stronger when things get darker and darker. And so <clears throat> you who are our mentors and teachers after tonight, <laughs> laughter tonight, you guys, you're going to have an opportunity to release disciples into this season that needs disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. So <clears throat> you can imagine how Jesus thought of his disciples. I have to I have to put it in the context of the last chapter of Mark. And Jesus said to his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not will be damned. And these signs shall follow your disciples. The men that you release to be governed by the Holy Spirit, the ones that you're going to train and teach, these signs will follow those men and women. In my name, Jesus said, they shall cast out devils, they will speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents and not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat at the right hand of God. And they went forth. Who went forth? The men and women that you're going to train. The men that are in that prison that you go to. They're going to be the disciples of Jesus Christ. The guys that are in there because they robbed and killed and destroyed. The grace of God is sufficient. The born again miracle is sufficient to transform the two men on the cross with Jesus. One of them said, remember me. Those are the people that you're training that are going to go forth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The, Jesus is going to dwell in your disciples. Jesus is going to dwell in your students. That's, that's what gets me up in the morning. Is that we have all, all of us, all of you and me that are looking at each other on this screen here, we've come to this season by the will of God. We could have been born 100 years earlier or after this season has gone past. I don't know. But the Lord brought us to where we are at this time for a specific reason. And if you're in this mentor class, it is to produce disciples for the Lord Jesus Christ. And it says in the last verse, they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Demas Shakarian understood that he was that God was raising up disciples through the fellowship. They weren't in the fellowship like they are in a church, just sitting on the bench until the rapture takes us all away. No, he was 
God had created the full gospel businessmen to be men and women of power, to respond to the direction of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit and to do exploits. So I want to encourage you for what's going to happen when you graduate out of this class. There are people that have maybe only sat in churches all their life and given money. And when they came to the fellowship, they discovered a whole new way of living. We don't put people on benches to sit Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. We help them become what God has called them to be. Because who are the happiest people on earth? The ones who have become the one the what the God has called them to be. These these are the men that you hold in your hand as teachers, as mentors. Because they may like the ones in prison. I have a friend who was from Taiwan and he would go to the jail in Long Beach, California. And uh, he would preach to the people that were there. And in that when in that jail, they were there primarily because their visas had expired and and they were taken by the police and put in jail until they were put on an airplane and sent back. And my friend was so excited when they would see Jesus as their savior. And then Uncle Sam would send them back to their country as missionaries, paid trip back as missionaries. Everybody that is in your school is a potential missionary. Maybe just in his home, maybe in his workplace, maybe in the school. But in these days that come, every one of your students are going to be men and women of faith that may be risking their life. And they need to they need to have the certainty that Christ is in them. And that Christ will go with them, confirming his word with signs following. The uh, graduation in Indonesia was really special. There were about 120 or 130 people graduating that day. And then the Lord gave a prophetic word, one similar to what Ron read tonight. But this one was... I value you, said the Lord. I value Indonesia. Now see, Indonesia is the largest Muslim country in the earth. And so the father was valuing FGBMFI in a Muslim country. And he said, <clears throat> you are going to be used all over the world. But you won't be preaching on street corners, the Lord said. You'll be raising the dead. You'll be healing the sick. You'll be casting out devils. You'll be opening the eyes of the blind. You'll be doing things on a one-to-one -one basis. And I could feel what was in their heart. They couldn't, they couldn't hardly wait to be released to go because they had Christ in them that was 
kicking. He wanted to go. <laughs> He's like a baby being born. And you as mentors and as teachers have these kind of people. If I want to remind you what Demas thought about the second letter that had been written out by the boy prophet. The one that had that had uh, that had foretold the coming destruction of the uh, of the people where the Shakarian families lived. Over a million people were driven by the Turks out into the desert and just allowed to to die from from thirst and salvation. They didn't have to kill any of them. They just wouldn't let them go back and to their homes. And so Demas said, I wonder what the boy prophet wrote in that letter that was unopened. One was open and one was unopened. And uh, people would come to me and, over the years and they'd say, what do you know about that letter? And I say, the only thing I know is that the Russians have it. For many years, they kept it in a safe in a bank. But the Russians have control of it. And I don't know that they've, that they've opened the letter to read what the boy prophet said. But Demas said, I think, and it's in the happiest people on earth, I think that it speaks of a time of persecution of Christians in America. <laughs> I tell you, if they're speaking, if they're clamoring for to kill Jews in America, it won't be long that they'll be wanting the same thing for Christians. So every person in your class that you're a teacher of is valuable to God. Why? Because they'll be doing the same thing as the Indonesian brethren are doing. Raising the dead, healing the sick, casting out devils, opening the eyes of the blind. It'll be one-on-one -on -one ministry. And people will respond to miracles. Now, if you look at the majority of Christians sitting on the benches in their churches right now, very few of them minister miracles. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping to see a change in the fellowship. That, the, that, that there'll be a shift. Up to now, most Christians see Jesus as Savior only. Give me this, give me that. Heal my body, heal my finances, get my kids out of jail. Always begging God for miracles. But very few of them, I would say 10 to 20%, say, Lord, what can I do for you? Sort of what Kennedy said. <laughs> so this is the place for you to make a difference in this nation. When you begin to teach people in the school of the vision, And bring them to the place of being a disciple. I went to uh, Ukraine one year. And I discovered how the gospel came to those Eastern European countries. Back around the time of uh, 
when it came to uh, Armenia. The spread of the gospel was not how many people would come to a meeting. It was measured by how many martyrs per kilometer the gospel would spread through a nation. There was no Zoom in those days. You had to confront people. And the best way that I know to do that individually is not in a great group, but just watch, go up to a man and say, what's the miracle that you need? And Christ in you will do that miracle. And when those people say, oh, wait a second, that's, I can see now. Or the pain is left. Then they say, how can, I, how can I have more of that? You can have as much as you want. Just ask it in the name of Jesus. And you can, once the miracle has been given, you can share your testimony. And then people's hearts will just open up to Jesus. So evangelism nowadays is testifying and releasing miracles in people's lives. And the fellowship has come to the kingdom for such a time as this. <laughs> and if every one of our chapters would teach its members to move in signs and wonders and miracles under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Every chapter that we already have right now could begin to change its city, its state. It will happen. You don't have to bring in a preacher. You don't have to bring in anybody who's already used to seeing miracles. It's just one of your, your members. You don't even have to bring them to your meeting. All you have to do is make sure that that man or woman knows that Christ lives in him or her. And teach them how to release the Christ that's already, already in them. They're born again. Christ is already there. And that's why when... When God told Demas, this was the Heavenly Father, he said, I'm waiting on you. Can you imagine? The Father has been waiting on the church for 2,000 years. On the people that sit in the pews, on the people that sit on the benches of churches for 2,000 years. I had a I had a friend, I went to a Thursday morning prayer meeting. And for an hour there, we would pray. And there was always, this one guy was, he would say the same thing all the time. Every week, he would say, when Jesus comes, he's going to fix everything. When Jesus comes, he's going to fix everything. When Jesus comes, he's going to fix He kept saying that week after week after week. And one day, Jesus in me exploded. And this is what I heard myself say. I'm sorry, brother, but Jesus has already come. And everything in me that needed fixing, he's fixed. And you could tell that man... His whole life was destroyed. He'd been waiting, 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 waiting. He's probably still waiting. Because that's how he was taught. People have been taught that they're going to be, go up in a rapture. People have been taught that Jesus is going to come down the road. Well, teachers and mentors, your students are the 
<laughs> carriers of the Christ. <clears throat> and there's all they need is to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And for you guys to help them release the Christ that is in them. In other words, be expectant that they need to pray in tongues and 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 to get the interpretation. And he will tell them every single day what they need, what he wants them to do. And <clears throat> the uh, the most important book that that Demas wrote. is this one called the greatest business in the world. If you don't have that book, I'll send it to you. Just give me a, send me a text through Ron and I'll send it to you because it was, uh, it was, uh, <clears throat> Bob Nations was in that meeting in Lake of the Ozarks, where Demas had been asking the Lord, where is that last day revival that the prophets have told us about? We've been waiting for that revival, and we're and when are you going to send the revival? Down to that, like that guy in the prayer meeting. <clears throat> and the father came and answered him. Let me tell you what's important about the father answering Demas. It wasn't an angel that brought the, the answer. It wasn't even the Lord Jesus Christ that brought the answer. It was the father himself that answered Demas. When is that last great harvest coming? And the father told Demas, I'm waiting on you. What? We're all waiting on you. He said, no, no, no. I've given you, look how, look how the father said this. I've given you my son. I've given you his name. I've given you his authority. I can't give you anymore. Now, teachers, you're going to have to drill this into your students. that the Father is waiting for them. When, when the Father gave each one of us his son, we were born again. That's how you're born again. When the, fa when the, when, when the Father sends Jesus to habitate within you, and you're born again, you become a member of God's family. And then uh, Jesus brings the, the kingdom of God into those people. And what's, what's the value of the kingdom of God coming in? The kingdom of God has everything you need to fulfill the Father's calling on your life. Demas was, he discovered he was a helper. And Demas the helper, look at the ministry that was birthed out of a helper. <laughs> All around the world. By the thousands, laymen are coming alive, coming alive, coming alive. Awakening. Each one with Christ in them. Do you know do you know what it means that Christ was resurrected? Well, do you know what it means for Christ to be resurrected in you? <laughs> the same things that he did while he was walking on the streets of, of Israel, he's going to do through you. And I love 
this little thing that God gave me, and you've probably heard it several times. It's a team, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and you. They're in the spirit realm. And every time that they want to do something in the earth, they have to do it through you. <clears throat> because you're here in the earth. And you walk in, it's you walk into the problem <laughs> and you release Christ into that problem. Whether it's blind people or sick people. We had two girls come up to us many years ago at the end of a convention. And the younger of the two, they were sisters, said, oh, please pray for my sister. She's blind in one eye and she's losing the eyesight in her other eye. And so, you know, me and my wife, we'd lay the hands on her eyes like this. And we said, in Jesus name, see. And the, the, the younger daughter who had brought her looked up into her face and say, can you see, can you see? And the older sister said, I don't know. I have, I have to, I have to cover my good eye. <laughs> and the, the, I was, something in me was so mad. I recognize now it wasn't me. I put my hand on her good eye and she screamed. <laughs> I could see, I could see. And I went pee pee. <laughs> I'd never seen that before. But Christ healed that girl's eyes. They were both perfectly eyes. Just last uh, two weeks ago, I was in Guatemala. And uh, they gave me an hour. I put 700 people to praying for each other. And tons of people were healed and relieved. All they did was, what's the miracle that you need? What's the miracle that you need? And in Jesus' name, I command that that miracle come into your life. That's what they did. I didn't say a word. They said it. Seven hundred people went away, either having their miracle, receiving it, or having ministered that miracle. That they discovered Christ in them. This is the miracle of the last day. Christ is already in the earth. He's in you. And he's going to be released by the thousands. See, FGBMFI is, 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 has a greater calling. And I'm coming to the end now. God raised up the fellowship to awaken the body of Christ. So your students are going to have a greater impact than what you've had. Because you're going to encourage them to go back to their churches, sit on the same bench where they've been sitting all these years. But this time they go back, they're going to ask the person next to you, how are you today? <laughs> And then when the lady says, oh, all she's going to, you've, tra you've, you've trained them to just quietly lay hands on them and, and say the name of Jesus. Pain go. The word will get to your pastor or your priest. The miracles are happening out there. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll want to invite you to eat lunch with him. And I know how it is because my pastor, Rick Gillis, who shared that prophecy, when he retired, he said, I want to become a full gospel businessman. <laughs> and Ron sent him the pin. And now I've had the joy of taking him to prophesy at, at, in many of the schools around the world. See, 
lots of these pastors and priests are locked up in their churches. They don't want to be pastors or priests. They don't want to have to do what the denomination tells them to do every week, every week, every week. They want to be free, to be governed by the Holy Spirit. And that's where we are today in this fellowship. Are we going to be governed by the Holy Spirit? Or are we going to be governed by man? <laughs> so, my brethren, I just want to congratulate you because you've you've lasted for the 12 weeks, now for the five weeks. You're survivors. <laughs> <clears throat> But I want to ask the Lord to give you an anointing for the days that are ahead of you. Remember this. You have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. <laughs> this is not a normal time. Jesus is going to go with you and confirm his word with signs following. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Your students from day one, when you train them, day one, need to be born again, filled with the Spirit, and speak in tongues. Day one. Day two, they, they're going to come back with a testimony of the miracles that God did through them. And then it'll just multiply, multiply, multiply. Everything that God created multiplies, multiplies, multiplies. Father, I ask that you pour out an anointing on every one of these men and women. Amen. An anointing that's for this season. Yes, Lord. Just receive it right now. the Lord is releasing prophetic words through through you right now. Who has got one? Speak it forth, speak it forth. Speak God's word. We, we are crucified with Christ. It's not we who live, it's Christ who lives in us. This life that we live in the flesh, we live by the faith of the Son of God. He loved us and gave his life for us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Our God supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Go forth. Go forth. Go forth. Thank you, Lord, for your covenant. Thank you for your renewed covenant with us. Thank you, baby, baby. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this covenant that you have renewed unto us through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Go forth, be bold for the things that you have heard, the things that you have learned. Share those things. Share those things that those you would teach. Share those things with those you would encounter. But don't hold back. Be strong. Be bold. Go forth. God would say, why wait? Why are you waiting? What are you waiting for? But be bold, be strong, and go forth. As I was with the early disciple, I am in you and with you. Yes. I will confirm the word with signs following. Yes. But be bold, go forth, be strong. Don't shrink back. Don't hold back. Don't worry about what someone may think or say about you, but go, go in me in the strength and power that is being released through you. You will see things you've never seen before. It will cause amazement to those around you. It will cause an amazement, magnification of my presence and power. Be strong, be bold. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It has all been given to you. Go forth. Doña Virginia, ¿qué dice el Señor? Micrófono. El micrófono. Virginia, el micrófono. Unmute, Virginia. There you go. Okay. And um, on this, uh, this class, um, we are ready to, to reach the people that uh, and don't have um, help and then I, I feel that like uh, all my my knowledge about God is more more power in my my spirit and then uh, I I feel that um, I need I need to to continue working for him because my spirit is very, 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 uh, <laughs> my God, I'm sorry, my English is not good, but uh, I hope that uh, the next uh, the next school, I am going to speak uh, more fluid my English, but uh, I, I have the words that, that God give me, gave me, but I can express in English. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, but I am ready. I'm ready. Dilo en español. Yo lo traduzco. Lo digo en español. Okay. Bueno, pues, le, este, um, yo ahora, es, el Señor me ha estado mostrando que Lord, tengo que ir, que tengo que, que a, a tener más, más um, trabajo para Él en, Por, por esas almas que, que, que están todavía sin el conocimiento, sin el amor, sin esperanza. I y, have a call y, to look for people who don't have hope and they don't have a, they don't know eh, him. In, uh, in my, in my, digo, in my, in mi iglesia, en mi iglesia, um, eh, Estoy, estoy um, en el grupo de, de intercesión. In my church I'm the intercession group. And uh, when I, cuando yo oro por, la, por las personas, sienten mucho, mucho, mucho el, el amor de Dios y mm -hmm. caen de rodillas llorando. Y eso es para mí yeah. algo 
que no, no lo esperaba tenerlo yo, ¿verdad? Pero el Señor me lo ha estado dando y es por eso que yo es, necesito trabajar más para Él. Praying for people in the church and they fall on their knees because they feel the presence of God and she feels like she has to, you know, serve the Lord more. Cuando yo entré a la escuela de la visión en inglés, yo le pregunté a Dios, ¿por qué aquí? Yo no sé mucho inglés, entiendo muy bien, lo puedo escribir, pero no lo sé. Y él me dijo, yo soy el que estoy haciendo las cosas, no tú. Y es por eso que estoy aquí en obediencia a él. She said that when she started the, the, uh, the school of the vision in English, I said, yeah, why should I be in, in, in the school of the vision in English? And the Lord told her, you're there because I've chose you to be there. Virginia, put your hand on your heart right now. Put your <laughs> hand on your heart. Be healed in Jesus' name and be anointed now. For, uh, you, 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 God's going to use you to heal the sick in Jesus' name. He's going to take over and he's going to do it through you in Jesus' name. I believe that someone had a vision while you're sitting here. They saw something in the spirit. Who's that someone that had saw something in the spirit? I saw a wave and people going on the wave. A wave? And uh, a wave. And uh, and the word came to me relate, in, in related to the wind. And the wind blows. You don't know where it's coming from and where it's going. So are the ones led by the Spirit. Praise God. Anybody Praise else God. have a vision? Okay, back to you, Ron. You're the boss. Oh, praise God. Well, that was uh, that was exciting. You know, it's uh, as we always say, you know, each, each school, each class can be a little bit different. But, uh, you know, um, uh, John, when you started to pray and you talked about the anointing, uh, that was the word that came to me that we needed to pray for those that are in the class tonight or those that would watch by video that anointing that anointing to come upon them but i just want to just uh just pray quickly here in closing that uh, let me just pray father i just pray for each and every one of our students that are in the class that are in this class tonight or those that would watch it by video father i just release them Father, we command the anointing, we commanded the anointing to come upon them and is upon yes, them to break the yoke of bondage. Yes, Lord. To break the yoke of despair, yes, to heal Lord. broken hearts, to cause uh, broken hearts, to cause the blind to see, the lame to walk, yes, Lord. the dead to come back to life. Yes, Lord. Command devils to leave people. Yes, Lord. Father, I just uh, speak a blessing over each and every one. Yes, Lord. I command the blessing to come on them. And Lord, I just decree and declare that your will will be done in each of their lives. Yes, Lord. Father, what has been deposited over these weeks of the school of the vision and the mentor's course will come alive, Lord, as they walk, as they uh, go about their day and as you speak to them and reveal things to them and show things to them. Yes, Lord. Point them to the right people. Cause them to say the right things. Cause them to do the right things. Yes, Lord. Father, I thank you for the team of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and each one of our students. Father, this is not the end, but it's the beginning. It's a continuation yes, of their journey with you. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we thank you for what you've done. Yes, Lord. And, uh, Lord, most importantly, what you're going to do in the future. Yes, Lord. Lord, I just bless them again in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, I will... Uh, I'll, I'll send the recording out, of course. And um, I did post the greatest business in the world already to the, the WhatsApp group. And I'll add uh, Prophet Rick uh, Gillis's uh, prophetic word that I read earlier tonight. So 
Um, look forward to the new school. We'll be starting in January. We'll have English and Spanish classes going on, and we'll have more information on that. Come join that as well. But just be about the Father's business. As I believe that word that yeah. came forth earlier, be bold, be strong, be courageous, and be about the Father's will. Amen? Amen. 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 Listen, Amen. We love Amen. Amen. Yeah, we love you. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. We love you. God bless you too. Thank, Thank, you. Bless you. Thank you. I bless everyone. Thank you. Thank bless you. Everyone. I bless everyone and keep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. It's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Yeah. Really empowered. Been.